This right here is the DJI Mavic Mini Fly More Combo Pack. Got this guy from eBay, and I gotta say, I'm very impressed that it's completely sealed up even when I unwrapped it. One thing you wanna know of is the serial number is right there, so make sure that corresponds to the serial number on the actual device. DJI Care Refresh, we're gonna be getting this because this gives you one year of accidental damage replacement, and since this guy has no sensors, it's gonna get damaged, guaranteed. Australian government edition, flying with control, get to know the rules. You must not fly closer than 30 meters to vehicles, boats, people. There you go, you get these gigantic propeller guards you can sell on eBay straight away. One thing I gotta say is, you get propeller guards with a fly ball combo pack. One thing about it is, inside most countries, the law says if your drone is over 250 grams, you gotta register it, and the laws are coming in about next year. So, Remember, if you are using the propeller guards, don't, because that will make your drone weigh over 250 grams, which means you have to register it. You can fly it around inside, have a bit of fun, bash it around, just know about that. But here is the beautiful battery pack. This is the Australian charger. All the beautiful manuals that you guys will probably never read. Next up, it is the magic box. This is what you've been waiting for. What I've been waiting for. Boom, oh my God. Something you just, can't appreciate actually it is so frigging tiny this is a joke this has to be, it's it's okay slightly bigger than a battery it's this is a charger slightly bigger than a charger <laughs> look at this gigantic phone it is smaller than a samsung galaxy note 10 plus wow and it also feels lighter is that right look at that it opens up like this there is a seal on this so i'm just gonna un Wrap it there, get rid of the tags. It's, it feels so flimsy. Like, I'm sure it's gonna fly well, but it feels exactly like a toy. Look how small it is. You got these little tags everywhere. Let's get rid of it all. Be careful with taking off this tag because you can easily rip out the battery door. And unlike other DJI Mavic drones, these propellers, they're actually screwed in. So it's harder to replace, but to be honest with you, I've actually never replaced a propeller in my drones ever. So as long as you don't crash it, you should be happy. And let's get rid of this lid. Oh, there it is, look at that. Gorgeous little tiny drone. And I gotta say one thing. So previously on the DJI Mavic Pro Platinum, it had this dual system to lock it into place, the helmet, the camera into place, whereas this one, it just seems like it's just one protector it's uh, still fiddly to put on but it's less fiddly than the previous ones i gotta say I'm, I'm a bit i'm a bit shocked about how flimsy it feels i'm gonna be excited to see how it flies now this is the beast beast mode remote no longer has an lcd display no longer has information just purely has lights and there is no control to a remote oh i don't want to turn it on but there you go so the handles are stored here Take it out like that and i guess you screw in just like that very simple very easy compact folds away that was pretty quick and easy let's see the size will it fit my phone this is a samsung galaxy note 10 plus my previous one really struggled with this phone and it looks like this one's also going to struggle and it fits just well although i think with the cable we're really going to struggle with this device but this is Openable, you just need to push at it, and it says right there, it's got nice instructions. You turn this one this way, and this one is turned this way, so they're opposite to each other. So next up, you get spare propellers and screws to apply the propellers. This is the battery charger, and finally, we've got a spare set of handles for the remote. You've got a USB cable to charge, this is micro USB to USB A. You've got a screwdriver to help replace the propellers. You've got a second USB cable as well. And lastly, you've got the control cable. So you get three different cables, one's for iPhone, one's for newer Android devices, and one's for older micro USB Android devices. So you're pretty much set for this configuration. For me, I'm gonna be using this one to start off the show because mine's a USB-C, so it clocks into place just like that. And this bit's a bit fiddly, but you pretty much just 
you just have to balance it over here and hope for the best. But as you can see, it's not really stable, this remote. It's always just floating around there. To plug in your phone, you kind of have to shove it or get a smaller phone. Don't use a Samsung Galaxy Note or an iPhone XS Max. All right, this is the best configuration I can find. I've got this little bit hanging off the edge of the left and this bit on the right, and I've pretty much got a nice visual display over here, and that's how to set up the remote. Unfortunately, it's not the best because the power button of the remote is over there. So yeah, it's uh, not ideal, this remote for bigger phones, but it is what it is. So there you have it. That is the Flymore Combo Pack. Look at the size of my phone. It's bigger than the drone. And this is the charging pack. So you simply just place the batteries inside there. You got this USB mini one goes in right over there and this cable goes right there. Easy as, just like charging a phone and they should start lining up and charging. And to charge the remote, you use this port over here and you simply just plug it in just like before, but just making sure that you put it in the right way. So it's with the shorter side at the top and the longer side at the bottom, just like that. And the indicator will start lighting up to show you that it is being charged. Turning on this fella is a bit tricky. The first time I had my DJI Phantom 4, I was confused. AF, yeah, I didn't know how to turn it on. You don't just hold this down. You don't just press it. Pressing it just gives you a couple of lights. You gotta tap it and then tap it again and hold it down. Then the four lights come on and then it turns on. Same thing with the remote. So just double tap and hold down on the second Second press, just like this one, and do the same way to turn it off. All right, now it's time to connect the drone. So what I'm gonna do is insert SD card, and it gives you a little visual indication of which direction it goes, and it's this way. You gotta use a fingernail for this one, and click it into place. The SD card I use is a SanDisk Extreme. Pretty much just look out for a U3 logo, or an A1, or A2, and that means it's a solid card. You can use other ones, and they probably will work on this one as it's only a full HD kind of camera, 2.7K, but that's the one I use. And you don't need to pre-format it because in the app you'll be able to do that. Next up, I'll plug in my phone. So to connect to the drone, you'll need an app called DJI Fly. So just install that from Google Play or the iOS App Store. My recommendation to do once you've got the app, go through the firmware and fly more database, update that, make sure you're on the latest version. For me, I was naturally on the latest version because I just got this brand new and it just was recently released. But by the time you're watching this video, maybe you're in the future and you got some updates, make sure you're on the latest update. Hopefully, if any issues had occurred, they would have ironed it out in future so updates. So you hit the go fly button and it takes you into the camera view and you can see me right there. This is my drone. So right now we've got no deep GPS coverage because I am indoors. We've got our battery levels on the top right. Connection. So that's it, our drone is set up. And I guess right now I'll just quickly show you the remotes, how to launch it. So if you tap these two buttons, it allows you to whir up the engines. And then you press this one to go up. It is a pretty noisy, but this one goes up, this one goes down. It also rotates left and right. This one goes forward, and this one goes back, and also goes left and right. At the back, you have this button here, and that allows you to change the camera view. So I'm pointing downwards. So on the left, you can quickly take a video, and on the right, you can quickly take a photo. And to land, you just push down on the controller, 